Hi everybody, uh, Dan Pritchard here uh, with uh, KRN257 Delta Papa. Uh, this is actually a KR2S stretched. Uh, we took the uh, in front of the main spar, we went out uh, three more inches forward. And uh, as you can see, we added, uh, boy, what a mess, huh? We added uh, four, one more bay or 14 inches to the aft, so we've actually made it 17 in inches longer than a typical KR. Uh, 2S. Uh, we run a Corvair uh, 2700 on this, 100 horsepower. I uh, already have it, just don't have the room to mount it at the moment. Uh, we also enlarged the uh, tail surface. I know it's a lot of junk, I probably shouldn't even show you this, but we did uh, add quite a bit more meat to the back end to add to the uh, stability of the aircraft. You can see in the cockpit, I have arranged this so we could uh, make it into a single seat. Uh, aircraft, dual fuel tanks, uh, one in each wing, and uh, with the crossover, backup pumps, and so forth. But what I really wanted to show you today was the uh, flap uh, actuation system uh, and the uh, spoilers. Uh, there's been a lot of talk on the uh, on the net lately about spoilers and belly boards, and I'm uh, sure I've generated a few of the questions, and I think we've come up with a good design. As far as the spoilers are concerned, uh, I took a, uh, a window actuator out of a 2000, 1998, something like that, Honda Accord, uh, the right side, and uh, cut it up a little bit and rearranged it and did some mounting, made a new plate. Uh, this thing actually travels very, very smooth, and uh, I've mentioned on the KR net that uh, I accidentally pushed this thing down one day when I had... The vacuum or a bucket or something underneath the airplane and it lifted the airplane right up so I'm pretty happy with the torque I think it should overcome anything that the wind can throw at us and as you can see I have two uh, tubes that run through the aircraft the one to your left and of course is the flap actuator which is connected to a four inch linear actuated motor uh, that uh, picked up uh, on eBay it's uh, very smooth very very strong has uh, about 240 uh, foot-pounds of, uh, of torque on that thing so I'm not worried about getting the flaps down or up and behind that is another torque tube that I'm using that's connected to a lever uh, on the right side of the uh, cockpit which will actuate the flaps now I know you're thinking that looks pretty busy but I'm still hooking everything up but this is going to be a single seat uh, KR and uh, so that's why I went ahead and positioned the uh, fuel control where it's at, um, actuators, and, and other components. So it will be a single seat. Well, let's get over to the flaps. I have right now, I got the flaps in the, in the full down position, which would be to a 45 degrees. The flaps uh, measure about 20 inches by, oh boy, I think they're almost 13 inches. Uh, fairly, oh, yeah, so you can tell they're fairly robust. Uh, we designed and manufactured the flap track uh, loosely based, not so much loosely, but based on the uh, mechanism of the Cardinal the Cessna 177, which I love. Anyway, what we've done is uh, using the 5048 uh, template online, we, we matched this thing up, worked out all the symmetry, spent a lot of time and effort, not too much money, but enough. Uh, to come up with uh, how we were going to make this thing work. So uh, I'll show you a little more underneath here. So inside the cockpit on the on the right hand side is the actuator, but basically it's just going to push the spoiler up, and that's the point of a spoiler is to destroy the uh, the lift. I would imagine we could probably get the spoiler up uh, an inch or so, and it will probably. Uh, cause the air to uh, separate and uh, should uh, cause sufficient uh, loss of lift on that wing. Uh, but we have it up full, so in case we need a little extra, you know, wind pressure for braking, add a little downforce on the tires, then it's there. So anyway, what we've done is uh, we have the, the flap attached to a uh, stainless steel uh, threaded rod, which goes through onto uh, roller bearings into the the, the flap mechanism. So let me switch the Polari on this thing and we will I'll run it into the up position. A 
full travel time is about eight seconds and what it does it'll come right up in there and it'll tuck nicely in there of course the outer flaring will finish off on the wing here and when closed we should have good airflow and uh, we'll finish up uh, the wing over on, on this side so again let me uh, let me get the, the these things actuated pop right up and we'll run this thing down one more time uh, the the spoiler by the way is a piece of uh, four inch by oh, 22 inch uh, uh, 0.065 uh, 60 61 aluminum uh, aluminum hinge uh, have all the brackets all the actuators made out of aluminum and uh, welded and they push through on the back of the aircraft had to do some little beefing up because we drilled some holes in some places but just carried that through a torque tube all the way through the other side and they, they work real nice still had just a little bit of adjustment to do but I'm I'm extremely happy about the, the way this whole thing works so let me run it down for you uh, one more time and uh, if you have any questions or any comments uh, positive comments I would appreciate them but uh, we're just looking to get this thing in the air before the uh, this year's fly-in uh, the wings are uh, already built they're in the other room being uh, finished and sanded I do have the entire turtle deck canopy section all finished and ready to go I'm just basically uh, trimming things out tightening cables and uh, making sure no conflicts or any bindings or anything I you got the transponder installed and uh, all the control mechanism and uh, we're uh, we're ready to go so anyway let me run that down get the battery switched again oh by the way I'm all I'm using on this actuator is a uh, 12 volt uh, DeWalt battery that I pulled off of a drill and uh, I'm getting between 15 and 18 flap cycles uh, before the thing starts running a little bit slow so not much power draw and here we go well I guess I was ready to go to begin with try that again and there you go again i'll post something up on the net and uh i would appreciate uh, your your comments thanks again